First came and discovered fire. While natural, as a light source, fire is harmful to our health. It pollutes the air, increases deforestation, which contributes to global warming, erosion, and other related environmental issues. And directly, fire presents a burn hazard for property and people. Humanity sought a cleaner alternative. In 1844, the first incandescent light bulb was created in a laboratory, though it wasn't widely adopted until the 1880s when electricity was more widely distributed. The modern incandescent light bulb was created around 1911. In the 1940s, fluorescent light bulbs became common in factories. It wasn't until 1980 that the CFL, or Compact Fluorescent Light Bulb, was created. The first LEDs were generated in the 1960s, though they weren't very good for room lighting until now. The nonprofit FIRST focuses on developing a passion for science, technology, engineering, and math among 6 to 18 year olds through challenging robotics competitions. As a funding initiative, FIRST partnered with Google and an LED manufacturer to reduce the cost of LED light bulbs. At least half of the bulb cost goes to supporting youth, science, and technology education projects. Sunlight is the summation of many different wavelengths of light. Each wavelength is perceived as a unique color. Blue, around 475 nanometers. Green, between 510 and 560 nanometers. Red, around 650 nanometers. The eye's sensitivity to light varies with wavelength. While the specific response is unique to an individual, the photopic curve shown is the average response across the population. The photopic curve clearly shows that human eyes are most sensitive to green light. Using that great science lesson, we're going to examine how the eye will respond to three light bulb types. Shown are an LED, a CFL, and an incandescent light bulb. If we measure the wavelengths generated by each light source in absolute power terms, we get this graph. The 90 watt incandescent clearly produces the most light, but as will be made clear in later slides, most of this light is generated outside the range of wavelengths visible to the human eye. If we normalize the bulb spectra to their individual maximum values, so all plots share the same data range, it is easier to compare the bulb spectral content. The LED, unlike the CFL, has a smooth spectrum, which closely matches the wavelengths our eyes respond to, without wasting too much light where we can't see. The 90 watt incandescent slowly increases the power of its light as the wavelength increases in length. When the normalized curves are multiplied with the eye's response, it becomes clear that all the higher energy light of wavelength greater than 700 nanometers produced by the incandescent is wasted energy. The LED, on the other hand, closely matches the eye's response, and little energy was lost to unseen light. In fact, so little light is wasted by the 7 watt LED that its output is roughly equivalent to a 40 watt incandescent. Now that we've determined that the LED should be more efficient, what does its light look like? First, we'll show the ancient reading lamp standard, a candle. Note the dim light and shallow illumination of the nearby wall. Next, while inefficient, the incandescent is the common gold standard for indoor lighting. It is a bright golden color with omnidirectional output. The CFL is much, much dimmer and does not project as much toward the socket as the incandescent. The LED's brightness is marginally less than the incandescent, but remember, it's using 12% as much energy and has a more uniform light pattern than the CFL. Using Missouri's 2011 9.7 cents per kilowatt hour electric rate, in expected bulb lifetimes, the LED life cycle cost was estimated roughly to be $25.83. While the same analysis found the incandescent bulb, or set of bulbs, would cost $62.44, nearly $40 more. Further, the incandescent's extra energy use leads to 28 additional kilograms of coal being burned each year. Over its lifetime, 
the incandescent burns 264 more kilograms of coal, contributing 509 additional kilograms of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Even when the production energy costs are included, the LED's equivalent power use was 280 kilowatt hours, the CFL 320 kilowatt hours, and the equivalent power use of an incandescent was a whopping 1500 kilowatt hours. LED bulbs have a longer lifetime, use less energy, have a lower carbon footprint, and a lower life cycle cost. They are instant on, and while most are not currently dimmable, unlike CFLs, they contain no toxic mercury. As an added bonus, the shell is plastic, so they won't shatter if dropped. What are you waiting for? Begin replacing your deadlights with LEDs today. LED light bulbs are the clear green alternative for the future.